Okay, so let's talk about health care now, that executive order. Scott Martin is here from Kingsview Asset Management. He's the CIO and a Fox News contributor, Hadley Heath Manning, Independent Women's Forum Senior Policy Analyst. So, Hadley, um, speaking of policy, people are wondering, concerned, this whole idea of the executive orders to consider doing these things, that language. Is there no teeth in this or is he lifting, you know, the regulations and the bans that were stopping people from buying across state lines and, and clearing the way for that? What's the truth? Well, the truth is this marks a completely fundamentally different direction in terms of health insurance regulation than what we saw under the Obama administration. The Trump administration is signaling here, giving direction here to those federal agencies that consumers deserve to be in charge of making their own choices. And this is really in response to the destabilization and the lack of choice and the high cost that consumers are facing in those ACA exchanges right now. So this is going to be an escape valve for, for many consumers. It, if, if it happens, I don't know. I mean, Scott, what do you see as the real impact of what happened today? Well, it's like you said, Melissa, I mean, it's, a, it's if it happens and how long does this take place for? Because this to me is kind of a Band-Aid approach to what is a full repeal that, as we know, is not likely from what we've seen so far via the activities this year. Now, I'll tell you, there's a couple good things in here. The association plan idea, I think that makes a lot of sense. You've got also the temporary health care idea, which is obviously something that helped people last year. So, listen, the reality is this. The, the, the ACA has destroyed uh, a lot of individual plans. It obviously has taken away choice. But you still are going to have, I mean, one thing Trump said a long time ago, Melissa, was they don't want to pay ransom to health care companies. Well, the reality is this. Healthcare companies, like it or not, guys, they don't want to insure sick people, or at least a lot of sick people, if they're not going to have a lot of healthy people buying the coverage. So you're going to have to find a way to bridge that gap. Well, they have Today's to make a profit, actions, they're companies. That's right. And that's the other problem, though, is Trump says, well, we're not going to pay them to do that. Well, if you're going to have risk profiles, if you're pools, if you're going to have the states take care of it, that is a big undertaking that I'm afraid states like Illinois can't do on their own. Hmm. We'll see. Well, growth might help and tax cuts might help growth. Calling for action on those tax cuts. House Speaker Paul Ryan has a stern message for lawmakers on how to push tax reform forward. We're going to keep people here for Christmas if we have to. I mean, I don't care. We got to get this done. I mean, it's just that important. And so um, we are actually on track timeline wise. Our point is get it done this year. We want to wake up on New Year's Day with a new tax system. Hadley, there's a swamp reality we have to talk about. The biggest problem right now are the lobbyists that are trying to stop any real change from a tax code that they actually wrote. They are doing their due diligence inside the halls of Congress right now. That's right. And I appreciate Speaker Ryan's comments. Let's remember a lot of Americans don't get a choice. They have to work on Christmas and lawmakers do have a choice. They can get this done before the day actually comes around. So I think this will give lawmakers the incentive to stick to the right timeline to get their job done, do tax reform and do it right. And remember, members of Congress respond to incentives just like other human beings do. And that was one of the problems with giving them a big exemption from the Affordable Care Act in the first place. They ought to be feeling the same way that consumers feel with the high costs and limited choices in health care. But Scott, the swamp is at full blast. Uh, it is going strong. They are trying. They're pulling out all the tricks to try to keep those deductions and all those special deals they've been working on for years. Uh, will they succeed or will Trump succeed? Uh, David, it's looking more and more like the uphill battle just gets more uphill, doesn't it? You're right. The, the swamp, as far as tax reform and tax cuts, appears to be alive and well, my friend. I'll tell you what, I mean, we've heard these deadlines over and over again, right? Stephen Nuchin told our very own Neil Cavuto many months ago, hey, it's August. And then we heard maybe November, and now it's Christmas. Uh, I don't know. What's next on the calendar? Valentine's Day, Easter. I'll tell you what, as long as these keep getting pushed off, the more it impacts adversely the American taxpayer, the more it's going to put pressure on the S&P 500, and the more reason it is that Congress has to get together and legislate and actually serve the people mm. for once. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I, I don't think we count on that. But if we have President Trump take them on one on one, look them straight in the eye and say, I know who you are. I know what you're doing in the halls of Congress. Name names of those Congress people who are being swayed by these lobbies. He could do something like that. That might change the game. We'll Let, see. Let's hope, David, with midterms almost just a year away. Let's hope that happens. I hope it does. Scott and Hadley, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Melissa. Thank you.